and welcome to part one of the Shed Aeronautics DIY Autonomous Aircraft Project. So if you don't know what this is about then please uh, see the previous video on uh, an introduction to this project. So on episode one, which is today, we are going to be uh, building a two-way communication system between two Arduinos. So the goal of this episode is going to be uh, to be able to have reliable communication between two Arduinos over a reasonable distance, to be able to have a LCD display on the uh, transmitting uh, on the ground station uh, module, and uh, to be able to transmit data uh, between them. So for example using a switch. And also, finally, we're going to uh, read the voltage of the battery of the aircraft um, and relay that back to the ground station and then take it for a test flight. So, let's get started. Okay, so uh, what I'm going to be using for the uh, processing power of the two modules is these two Arduino Nanos. So these are pretty cheap and uh, widely available um, pretty much anywhere um, on the internet. So obviously one's going to be used for the uh, um, aircraft and one's going to be used for the ground station. So uh, to work this together, this is obviously a prototype project, so I'm going to be using this uh, prototype PCB board. So these Arduinos have already got headers soldered in and they're just slotting nicely into the board. So in terms of uh, transmitting and receiving, I also need a transmitter and a receiver. So what I'm going to be using is these um, is these uh, telemetry modules. Um, so these transmit on 433 megahertz and have a supposed range of uh, up to two kilometers, um, but many people say that they go much further. So uh, this is um, the way these work is they're essentially just uh, a wire pass through. So they've got a TX and RX pin and they just commun they just relay whatever information you send to this one to this one and vice versa. So these are going to be a quite simple module. So also as I said uh, earlier we're going to need an LCD screen uh, so this is a 16 by 2 LCD screen so this is going to allow us to um, see uh, things like what the voltage is and uh, stuff like that. So we can use it as a screen on the ground station to know what we're doing. Okay, so I'm going to uh, start off by mounting the Arduino. So making sure that the USB port is on the side, I'm going to slide it into the uh, into the board. Uh, so I've just put this a couple of rows down from the top because I might want to uh, plug in wires there. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to blob some hot glue there and there. And that is going to allow me to uh, stick the transceiver on, or like that. So now while that's drying I'm going to start soldering the Arduino to the board. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to solder uh, in these uh, the transmit pins and the power pins. So I'm just going to leave it. Uh, I'm going to put the, um, the power pins um, to the right, and then I'm going to leave uh, a bit of a gap between the data pins. So I don't want the uh, the data pins and the power pins to uh, short out. I don't want the power pins to show out either, but more damage would likely be done if the data pins were shorted out. So now they are soldered in. Ok, 
Okay, so now I've got to attach the LCD. So the LCD, I think, is best placed on the back like this, um, or on the front, shall I say. So uh, the module sort of looks like this. Um, however, this means that I can't just push it straight through the board um, because this isn't a double-sided board. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use uh, some of these um, server extension cables or patch cables. Um, they're really short, so these are just going to slot onto here. Obviously, uh, I need one more for all the data pins, so I need to order some of them. So what I'm going to do is they're just going to... Uh, curl around here and plug into a header there. So now that means I need to obviously solder on a header. So I'm just going to grab a header from the box of bits. So that is going to uh, plug into here. So I'm going to use this uh, six piece header. So the tricky part with uh, soldering headers is often uh, holding them in while you solder them. So there, that is uh, one row done. So if I plug these in here, you can see that they curl around perfectly. Plug into there like that. So now I'm going to need another row of six. So you may notice that I'm not going to plug into all of the uh, pins on the screen because you don't need them all um, for basic text, I don't think. Um, but in the future, I can always add one if required. So there we go, that is uh, where the screen is going to roughly go. So now we can see that a really nice uh, module is starting to be put together. Okay, so I've just uh, finished up wiring up the uh, the LCD, so this is a quick <laughs> snapshot of my shoddy wiring. Um, so, um, I didn't show me doing this because uh, there's plenty of tutorials and diagrams online that you can find of how to wire it up. So now the, uh, the moment of truth is to plug it in and see if it uh, blows up or if it actually works. So there we go, it uh, prints hello world uh, as traditional and uh, it then counts up the seconds on the second row. So we now have um, a very basic uh, ground station, um, it has an LCD. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to wire up the uh, transmitter and then I'm going to start work on the second part. Okay so now I've uh, wired up the um, transmitter so these are two brown wires here are the two data wires and then we have power and ground which are going to the power and ground bus pins so now I'm just going to plug it in just to make sure it doesn't blow up <laughs> and uh, a green light should come up on here and obviously uh, nothing should start smoking so there we go the green light comes on so everything has been wired correctly so now what I'm going to do is now I'm going to begin work on the uh, on the uh, aircraft um, transmitter receiver module. So again, uh, as started off with the second one, I'm going to begin by soldering the Arduino to the board. So I'm going to put this there. Uh, I think, where shall I put this? I think I'm going to put this Arduino in the middle and then now I'm just going to solder the pins as I did with the other one. Okay, so now it's time to talk about the software on the drone. So um, for the main communication protocol, I'm using 
uh, something called Easy Transfer. So uh, this uh, software was originally designed for direct Arduino to Arduino communication. However, because the um, 3DR telemetry modules are literally just um, a communication pass-through, so it can be imagined just as a wire, we can use this software. So um, if, we, if we go on the website here, We can see that it um, has easy Arduino to Arduino um, communication and does some example code. So um, you need to download this library. If you don't know how to do that, then again, there's plenty of other tutorials. And um, then we need to jump into the Arduino software. Okay, so now let's look at the code. So first of all, we're going to look at the ground station code. So first of all, we have uh, the liquid crystal setup. So this uses the liquid liquid crystal library, and uh, it just sets up the pin definitions to start. We then set up easy transfer, which I just explained allows communication from Arduino to Arduino. Then finally, we set up software serial, which allows the Arduino to connect to the um, radio module using a software serial. So then, in the setup, we just print shed explorer three and connect to the radio, which is fifty seven thousand six hundred board, which you have to use. And then in the loop, we just uh, receive data and um, print out the data. So, so far we've got um, a value called rxdata.volts, and this is what the ground station is expecting to receive. So, in contrast to this, if we now look at the um, drone code, so here is the drone code, and this is um, significantly less because obviously we don't have a liquid crystal library. So it's the same as the other module, we set up easy transfer and a software serial. And then we set up our receive and send data structures. So on the previous drone code, we've got the inverse of this. So the receive data structure on this is switch one, and the send data structure on the ground station is switch one. So the send and receive match up. So here we can see we've got the send data structure of volts. So we're going to send over volts. So for now, it's not actually sending volts, it's just uh, sending counting up um, but that's good enough just to test it for a proof of concept. So in the loop here we just um, receive any data that we've got so far we're not sending any so I'm not expecting any data to come in and then we just uh, transmit the um, volts and it's just incrementing every second and then that data is sent. So what I'm hoping to expect with this code is that the um, timer increments uh, one at one time a second okay so now I've uh, uploaded the software to the uh, the two modules so now I'm going to uh, power them up so um, currently the uh, the drone module is just uh, powered uh, with this power block power supply um, but I'm not gonna put that on yet and the, uh, the ground station is currently powered by USB, but obviously in the final version, um, this will be powered by some sort of battery. Uh, so hopefully what we should see on the screen, because I haven't actually powered these up yet, is uh, this should say um, Shed Explorer version 3, and uh, then it should say Volts um, something or other. I can't remember. I think it says... Volts no data if it's if this isn't turned on yet. So let's plug the ground station in. Hope everything turns on. So the screens come on. Let's hope. There we go. Shed Explorer three, and it just says volts is zero because it hasn't got any data yet. So now I'm going to uh, plug in the uh, the transmitter module. So um, this should all come on, and that should flash, and then hopefully it'll. Uh, we'll get some data coming through. So there you go, you can see that's working. Hmm, no data's coming through. Let's try resetting. There we go. So now that's working. Um, as you can see, uh, as I looked at the code, 
Currently the volts doesn't actually uh, measure volts, but that's what it, I will program it to do uh, later on, probably in episode 2. Um, so this just uh, keeps counting up, and uh, so if I reset this it should go back to 1. There we go. So now hopefully we've got a fairly reliable uh, data transmission system. Okay, so now we've got a working um, communication protocol, we need to do something with it. So my drone uses these um, batteries which have a nominal voltage of 11.1 volts, however this can go all the way up to sort of 12.4-ish um, um, volts. So let's call this 13 volts maximum. So um, the pins on the Arduino are only 5 volt tolerant, so that means that going into the Arduino need to have A voltage of 5 volts. <laughs> Struggling to write backwards here. So we need to find a way to get these 13 volts down to 5 volts. So if we've got ground here, also known as 0 volts, then we need the method of splitting this 13 volts to 5 volts. So we use something called a voltage divider. So this uses two resistors and the sense pin is in the middle of these two resistors. So we need to calculate what values these resistors are going to be. So I've chosen um, values of 75 um, kilo ohms. So that is going to be that's how big that is going to be. And on the other resistor, we've got a value of 47 kilo ohms. So that, that means that this voltage is going to get split between it. So I've already um, I've already got this circuit, so I'm going to demonstrate how it works. So I've got this battery here and I've got a multimeter. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to plug in the battery. So here you can see we've got the 75 kilo ohm um, resistor, this purple one, between um, Vmax, which is 13 volts, and the sense pin, which is in the middle. Then we have a 47 kilo ohm between ground or zero volts and the sense pin. So now if we put our multimeter set to volts and we put it on the ground pin and on the sense pin, then hopefully this will give us a voltage that's less than 5 volts. So this has given us a voltage of 4.6 volts for a fully charged battery. So that's perfect. Because if we if we dropped it down too low, that means we're going to lose accuracy. But if we had it too high, then that um, means that we're going to um, fry the Arduino. So now we need to solder this into a circuit and connect it up to the Arduino. So here is the uh, current drone um, unit. So this is what we're going to need to build the divider onto. So first of all, I'm going to solder on one of these uh, battery plugs. So this is a balance connector plug and uh, this means we can get all the voltage off the battery from here. And um, I think this is going to be easier than using the main connection. So I'm going to put this here sort of near the analog uh, in pins so that means it's easier to, easier to sort of access and read the voltage. So now I'm just going to solder that in first. So like that. So the only pins I'm going to use for this, I'm going to use zero volts and um, the full battery voltage pin. So if we look on the connector, um, you can see that there's four wires. So the most left or the, the first black wire, that is our zero volts, and the red wire is our full battery voltage. So if we look at how this plugs in, we can see that how I've soldered it in is the, the pin here on the, on the left is the plus pin and the pin on the far right is the ground pin. So flipping that over we can see that this pin here is the voltage pin. So now if I get my um, motherboard, not motherboard, uh, breadboard and uh, look at how that works. This resistor here, the 47 kilo ohm resistor goes between sense and ground. So in this one we're going to be using analog zero. 
so that is going to fit in there. So then flipping it over we can solder that in as well. That. and now we need to attach the other resistor so this resistor the 75 kilo ohm resistor goes between um, positive the the um, the input voltage and uh, ground so this is going to be a bit tricky So just like that we have um, it all wired up. So now the moment of truth is to plug a battery in and hope it doesn't all explode. So um, I'm not going to plug the Arduino in just to hopefully try and remedy the wiring. So in that goes and now I'm just going to check the voltage with the multimeter. So there we have 4.57 volts, which is perfect for what we want. Okay, so now after unfortunately blowing up uh, both an Arduino and um, one of the um, 3DR telemetry modules, um, I've sort of had a bit of a setback on the project. Um, so for now I've uh, built a new board um, with uh, a new Arduino. Um, and obviously I don't have a new um, 3DR module to hand so I'm currently using the HC12 which does exactly the same thing as the 3DR module, it's the same interface um, so I could literally just swap it over for testing. Um, I've ordered a new, a new um, 3DR module so hopefully within the next week that should arrive and then we'll be able to uh, continue the project. So as I said, uh, these two HC12 modules should work exactly the same as the 3DR ones. So now we're going to be able to hopefully test it again. So I've updated the software as you've seen on both of them. So first of all I'm going to plug in the ground station. It's just like that boot. So there we are, Shed Explorer 3. And uh, now I'm going to plug in the battery. So let's just take a voltage measurement of the battery before we start. So this is 12.32 volts. So I'm hoping to be sort of in that ballpark. So now we're going to plug in the drone Arduino. So hopefully in a second the volts should pop up. There we go, so 12.35, so that's within a 0 0.2 of a volt, so I'm pretty pleased with that. Thanks for watching. This is the end of episode one. So in this episode we've made a fully functioning ground station and um, drone module, which can relay battery voltage reliably between each other. So we can now tick this off on our list of things to do. So if you enjoyed this video then please uh, make sure to leave a like, if you have any questions or um, anything like that then leave a comment and subscribe so you don't miss my next video. Thanks for watching, bye!